Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Titan Chain Snow Tire Chains with V-Bar Links here on our 2021 Ford F-250. So this is going to be a pretty decent way of giving yourself that traction control that we're looking for. What I like about these V-Bar supports, they do a great job of breaking up that ice that we're going to be encountering, allowing us to have really good traction. I will say though, these links really aren't that thick. Um, there are a couple extra links available here at eTrailer.com that are just a little bit bigger and that might be better for a lot of us out there. However, if you do find yourself in a very icy environment, I think these are going to be excellent. Like I said, because we have those struts to do a good job of fracturing and breaking up that ice. Now we also are going to have a ladder style chain here that basically allows us to have what I like to call our hills and our valleys function. What that is going, these cross chains of course are going to be creating our hills while our open tread on our wheel is going to be our valleys. So that gives you excellent start and stop capabilities because you're going to have each one of these that you have to come to get over or to help you slow down. And to that end, you are going to lose a little bit on your turning radius because as we make on our left and our right, so we're going to have to overcome these hills every time and that requires just a little more acceleration. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but it definitely is something to keep in mind as you're mounting up your tire chain. So our chains here today are going to be made of a low carbon steel. Now basically what that means for us, they actually are going to be pitting themselves as they kind of make contact with the ground and the weather uh, elements that are out there. And that gives you a little bit more friction on them, which is great. However, they are going to be a little less resistant to corrosion if you're comparing this to some of those alloys out on the market. To that end, let's make sure we're doing a good job of spritzing this off, especially if you do find yourself in a place where there's a lot of chemical agents on the ground. And talking long term storage, it can be nice to go ahead, put a little oil and grease on this guy. That way it doesn't rust away and it's ready for the next season. Now you might have noticed today too, we do have a rubber tensioner on here and that's just to go ahead and take out that last little bit of slack that we actually had remaining. And we'll kind of break that down later on in the install. But to that end, it kind of brings up my uh, one little caveat with this guy. If you do like this chain, I might look at the same chain except with cams available here at eTrailer.com. What I like about the cam system makes it a lot easier to tighten up to our wheel and then we don't have to actually have ourselves a secondary rubber tensioner. And honestly, I think it just becomes a better fit on our vehicle, making sure that it's nice and secure on our wheel and giving us that traction control that we're looking for. Now there are a couple caveats before we throw you to our installation of these guys. The big thing is going to be if we have the right tire size for these chains. So let's make sure we're putting our tire size into the fit guide at eTrailer.com. That way we get the right fit for us at home. And the other thing is, where do we actually place these on our vehicle? Well, today we have it in the rear here, just because I know a lot of us like to load up some sandbags, start gaining that traction that we're looking for here in the back, and this can be an excellent way to do so. However, you do have a lot of weight in the cab and the engine area, so those front wheels, definitely going to have the traction that we're looking for. So if you want to go ahead and be really safe, two sets of chain is excellent. That way you have some on the front and on the rear and we get there safely. But we'll leave that up to you guys. Let's go ahead and see how we can actually get these installed. To begin our install, what we want to do, lay out our chains just like so. What we're looking for here, any kind of kinks or binds that might have been picked up by our chain while in storage. And V-bar struts like to kind of pinch themselves. Pretty easy just to walk out though, making sure we have no issues. And the big thing to take note of here, make sure our hard points of contact are going to be pointed up and away as we are going to be putting this on our tire and enveloping it. And we don't want those little guys poking into our tire, performing any kind of damage. And now we simply need to bring ourselves to the middle of our chain. I like to kind of pick it up and then take my elbows in as well to the other side and kind of wing it out. Why I do that makes it a little easier to mount on here without interacting with our rim. And then we can begin to set it on our tire. As I do so, I'm making sure that my cross chains are as horizontal as I can get them. And just double checking my bottom connections here, making sure they are finding themselves where I want them to be. I think I can actually get a little bit of shifting going over towards my left side here or towards the rear of my vehicle. And again, just double checking all these horizontal connections, making sure they're going across as evenly as we can. Double checking that our V-bars are actually appropriately set up and not poking into it. Now we just need to bring ourselves to the other side of our wheel to make our first connection. We're going to have this extra chains on the end here and an extra or our hook on the other side and we simply need to slot that in. Now I'm going to take it to about the third chain from the end here today. Later on, once we've confirmed the fit of our chain, we want to come back and remove any extra linkage we have on here. Now we may come back and either lengthen this or shorten it. That's why we're going to go ahead and leave it for now. Now we can make our last connection here on our tire chain. I'm going to take it to the second chain to try to make this work. One thing that can be helpful 
slotting down that extra chain. That way it's more towards the bottom and doesn't interact with your lever as much. Then we simply want to try to get that down there, pulling our lever at the same time. And then we can put pressure with our hand, taking our extra link, pushing that down and holding it in position, just like so. So that's done a pretty good job of taking a little bit of that slack out. Now I'm still seeing not too much movement here. Honestly, as things are considered, it's probably a pretty decent fit, but I am gonna grab myself a rubber tensioner just to make sure we're taking out that last little bit of slack and pulling it all towards the center of our wheel. So these rubber tensioners are also sold here at eTrailer.com and they can be great, like I said, just to take out that last little bit of slack. All we have to do, treat it much like you would a lug nut pattern on a tire, except with one more point of contact than your standard. And we simply just wanna go down and around, distributing those forces pretty evenly as much as we can. And that way we're taking out all that last little bit of slack. Maybe even go that way and taking it down. The only thing to take note of, let's make sure our hooks are pointed away as we definitely don't want them digging into that sidewall, that tire. But now I have almost no movement on my chains. I think we're nice and secure. We're ready to rock and roll. Overall, that install doesn't take too much time, which is great. Again, though, you are gonna probably have to find yourself a rubber tensioner. Those are rubber tensioner. Those are available here at eTrailer.com as well, which is great. Again, though, I would just look at the cam system. In my opinion, they work a little bit better. They're a little easier to actually just secure on your wheel, and therefore, they're just ready to tumble in no time, which is great. Uh, I do like the low carbon steel. Again, gonna take a little bit more work than you might see from those alloys out there, but all we have to do, put a little maintenance into it, and these should last us for the year to come. Otherwise though, I think that about does it for our look at the Titan Chain Snow Tire Chains with V-Bar Links here on our 2021 Ford F-250. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.